fear God and give glory to Him. Hmm. We are looking at some special messages from God concerning our time. Three cosmic messages recorded in Revelation chapter 14 and carried by three angels. We spent three weeks in building the context and the base for proper understanding. And now we look at the first words coming out of the first angel. In a loud voice, he said, Fear God and give glory to Him. Fear of God in the Bible is about respect and authority, not about being afraid. Our sinful nature can survive in the presence of God, and it's natural to be afraid. Even though when we don't see His presence, we get bold and cocky. But the key issue in the controversy against God is a question of authority and respect. We thought that we can do without God, and here we are, heading to ultimate degradation and destruction. This crucial message and point for our time is a matter of accepting God's authority and to demonstrate respect. We need to admit our insufficiency and dependence on God, the only source of life and redemption. When you are being res rescued, you follow instructions. Our ways led us to the need to be rescued and along with the respect, we need to also accept and follow God's guidance. Even when we don't understand and it may not make immediate sense to us. Respect for God is demonstrated when we stop fighting Him, when we let Him make the difference in us, and when we accept His guidance for us expressed in His commandments that reflect His character. Fear and respect toward God is to put Him in the center of our life. Let Him guide everything we do. Let Him be in the core of everything that motivates us, drives us, provides purpose and meaning. The message of the first angel calls also to give glory to God along with the respect. And we glorify God by testifying about who He is and what He is doing for us. The context of our time is the development of the final stages of the controversy between God and Satan and the need for each one of us to make a choice and to take a stand. God's authority was challenged and rejected, but for our survival, it needs to be restored, and we have a role to play with our testimony and example. The text talks about those that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. It's not about gaining or achieving something through our efforts, but about being a testimony of God's character, His grace, and transforming power. Even faith, the faith of Jesus is given to us, to those who open the door and accept it. So, what do I take away from this lesson in the length of one tweet, hashtag lesson in one? In this decisive time of human history, we are called to respect God, trust Him, and accept His instructions and guidance. We glorify Him by testifying about who He is and what He is doing for us. We will continue looking at the message from the first angel next week with the good news of the judgment.